Hey guys, it's Chris from Headway Rocket, and today I'm going to show you how to set up our free MailChimp block for Headway. So to begin with, I've just set up a fresh WordPress install and installed the latest version of Headway, as you can see here. So we're going to just head over to the plugins to install the block, uh, select Add New, and then click on the Upload, and just select the file that you would have downloaded uh, from our site. So we'll click on Install Now. And once that's finished, we'll just activate the plugin. And once that's done, we're going to need to just go and get the MailChimp form URL, which is used by the plugin. So we're going to head over to MailChimp and just log in to your account. And then once you've logged in, just click on the lists menu item. And then you'll see there's an edit configure icon over here. So you want to just click on the under the forms and fields, there's the forms uh, link. So if you just click on that, you'll arrive on this page. And then you want to just click on the share it link. And that's going to give us a short URL, which I'm going to just open in a new tab. And then this is the URL that we want to copy that's used by the block. So I'm going to just copy that and then head back into the WordPress site and into Headway. So once we first get here, the grid wizard will pop up. But for this example, I'm going to just use an empty grid because we don't need any predefined layout. So in the grid mode, we'll just draw a new block and then select the MailChimp uh, option from the More Blocks navigate, navigation item. So we're going to just quickly save that and then head over to the Manage view so that we can see our changes taking place live. So as you can see, when you first load the block and you haven't specified the form URL, you'll see that there's a notice that's displayed. This is displayed in the admin and on the front end your site as you can see here. This is just because the uh, sign-up form won't work unless you've actually specified that URL. So um, yeah, we're just going to click on the options icon to bring up the options panel. And as you can see here, we have the MailChimp form URL. So I'm going to just paste that in there. And you can see as soon as I pasted it in, it actually removes the notice. Um, right away. So we can save that and that's pretty much all you need to do uh, to get the form working. We've set the base layout to be horizontal but if you wanted this to be vertical you could just change the form layout to vertical and as you can see it updates live. Um, there are some options that you can customize the fields width and spacing so as you can see uh, as I drag that, the fields increase. And you can customize the form header, uh, heading, and change the heading type. You can also add your own custom description. And lastly, configure which of the various uh, sign up fields are displayed. So if you didn't want to display the surname field, you could just simply uh, disable it there. That's it. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and I hope it's useful. Uh, be sure to keep an eye, eye open for the next one.